why was this uh, strong New York event so important to each of you? And I'll give you a little time for you each to answer. Uh, Jen touched on it a little bit, uh, talking about different men and different things happening in our world and on the news right now. Um, and something that uh, keeps me in the gym and keeps me kind of doing what I do, whatever the heck that is, um, is that the barbell doesn't really care where we're from. Uh, the barbell doesn't really care who we voted for. Uh, the barbell doesn't care how much money is in our bank account, who our parents are, uh, or anything uh, once you get under it. Uh, so strength, like Tarong kind of just mentioned, um, is the great equalizer. Uh, you lift it, you don't. Pounds don't change day to day, kilos don't change day to day, uh, and any opportunity I can get uh, to get around like-minded individuals, all of you, took your time out of uh, today, Saturday? That's today. <clears throat> Saturday. <laughs> uh, to come and hang out with us, it's like, <laughs> are you ready to rock? <laughs> Detroit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and thank you guys for coming out um, because, again, you know, uh, w whatever it is we do, YouTube or, or whatever, none of this is, is possible without you guys. Um, so round of applause for that real quick. Thank you guys for taking your time. Um, but any opportunity I can uh, have to lift weights, to hang out, to get food, to chat uh, with like-minded individuals like Jen, like Teron, uh, like Brandon and Bert, uh, Mr. DeFranco, people that were just up, um, is a great time for me uh, to learn. Uh, for you to learn uh, and for all of us to kind of forget some of the negativity that may be happening in this world uh, and, and, and focus on something that brings us together uh, when, when especially in our country right now a lot of things are trying to bring us apart. People are starting to listen and focus in on um, extremism and, and uh, without going on too much of a tangent, uh, if you only surround yourself with your beliefs and your type, whatever that is, if you're a weightlifter even, uh, you're a powerlifter even, uh, you know, 10 years ago, it, it was a serious, like, feud. Uh, even now, you know, people are bashing CrossFit or bashing Strongman. Uh, and the more you hang out with people that are of that extreme nature, politically, financially, uh, socially, uh, the, the further we are going to be apart from each other. Um, so if we can all just focus on, again, the barbell doesn't care what's in our bank account, the barbell doesn't care our skin color, our religion, anything of that nature, and we can start to draw more together, uh, I think the better off we're going to be. Uh, and events like this allow us to do that in a positive manner. So shout out to Kenny and Solace, shout out to Reebok, uh, shout out to Jen. Um, go ahead. I, I think growing up as young men, uh, there's a conception we have, you, you are kind of taught or told about strength, and I want to know uh, one of those, what one of those misconceptions were as you've come through into like your manhood and as leaders in our community. Uh, what, what those misconceptions were or could be? Uh, misconceptions of being a man? Well, what, what, what strength is. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, that question uh, relates to like powerlifting a lot. Uh, I'm kind of a pseudo power lifter. I don't compete that often, uh, but that's what I coach, that's what I teach, that's what I've been into for about 10 years. And in, in, in power lifting, um, in, in lifting weights, you know, the term meathead, we throw it around uh, jokingly, but uh, I think society in general kind of uh, shows that as, you know, someone that doesn't have a brain, someone that's just screaming at the barbell, someone that um, has no other opportunities, and so all they do is lift weights to grow their muscles, where, uh, you know, if you dig into strength and conditioning, you dig into um, power lifting, weight lifting, whatever it might be, uh, it's very cerebral. Uh, it's cerebral in planning and programming. Uh, it's cerebral in execution. Um, and some of those things uh, are what draw me to it. Uh, I played basketball my whole life. And it's kind of the opposite. Uh, you know, it's kind of a skill-based sport. Um, and people don't consider powerlifting and, and these things skill-based. They just think of it kind of caveman work. Um, <clears throat> so for me, uh, I guess strength. Um, Powerlifting, uh, the barbell, um, the routine of it, the process of it, the discipline of it, uh, in a way, uh, has been, I guess, my martial arts. Everyone always knows that or thinks that martial arts, I've never done any martial arts, but uh, <laughs> I'll high five you, I'm not fighting. Uh, YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> throw on my shoulder. Uh, and people know that, that, oh, that teaches discipline, that teaches uh, passion, that teaches intensity, that teaches. Um, uh, respect and honor in these things, but I think as uh, powerlifting is starting to grow, as uh, barbell sports are starting to grow, that's something that uh, has shaped me as a human being, as an adult. Um, everything I do in life uh, can be 
drawn back and rooted to barbell, to powerlifting, um, the discipline of it, as I mentioned, the programming of it, uh, showing up day in and day out. Um, and those uh, things are strength to me. When I don't want to go to the gym, I'm going to go to the gym. When I don't want to wake up and do emails, I'm going to wake up and do emails. Not every day is a great day, um, but every day uh, you can still kind of rely on those things, and that's kind of the, the I guess, strength to me. Amazing. Uh, my high school coach uh, preached a lot about um, being part of something greater than yourself. Uh, and that's probably uh, uh, the biggest piece of it. So I guess roots back to teamwork, roots back to, yeah. um, you know, selflessness, uh, loyalty, things of that nature. Love. And the final question, I want you guys to choose one person, I'm sure there's many, but one man that you look up to and quickly why. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't really, I don't know if I look up to anybody, but if I was to go after some, it would be, I like Will Smith. Okay. Will Smith, um, just because he breaks, the, how do I say it? He breaks the barrier of black actors. And, and you know, I aspire to be an actor one day as well. And he kind of, he just he just breaks that barrier, whether, you know, you can't be this type of actor in this movie, or, because, you know, not to try to get like racial, but black people are seen as comedic actors. And he takes that, you know, above and beyond, and he's, he's one of the greatest actors of our time. So, you know, that's, that's what I would think. Um, cliche answer, but probably not in the reasoning, but my dad, um, just simple things, you know, he wasn't a powerlifter, YouTube sensation like Tehran, but, uh, worked, worked a normal job, um, but worked seven days a week finding other activities to help the community, uh, most selfless man that ever lived, uh, the loyalty, respect, um, just kind of the morals that I learned from that, uh, and him, uh, I was very lucky and blessed, so probably my dad. With that. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've felt like that for the last five years. Uh, I, I, uh, I love uh, lifting weights, um, but I think, you know, sadly the internet uh, has done awesome things, um, but there's obviously some negativity on there, and there's these guys that are, you know, smashing tweets, uh, I'm up at 3 a.m., loving lifting, you gotta come with me, and like snort pneumonia. Uh, and that's cool. Um, but I think, you know, fitness, lifting, uh, it's going to be different for each person. And, and it's going to change throughout your lifetime. Um, and so if, if you're over a barbell, be over a barbell. Um, I, I think health should always be first in your life. And I do think the barbell can teach us many a thing about ourselves and society, as I mentioned before. But I think that motivation isn't what the internet tells you and motivation isn't what these movies put out. Uh, I don't hop out of bed with my knee sleeves on like, yo, go time. Uh, I I'm human just like you. Um, I'm, not, I'm not uber excited to always uh, bench squat dead uh, or whatever it might be or to do cardio or to track my food. Um, it's just a part of who I am and it's a part of my big picture goal. And I know that if I do these small things every single day, it's going to lead me to where I want to be. Um, so I think that you have to, one, decide whether you're just in a lull or you're actually over something. Uh, if you're over something, find a new passion, try new things. Uh, and if you're a lull, uh, that is when the discipline of barbells teaches you who you are. Uh, and you just have to show up every day and get shit done rather than uh, just quitting. And, and that's, that's what defines who's in this room right now, who drove hours, who decided to dedicate their Saturday to learning something, who's dedicated and disciplined enough to go through these things, and those that decided to stay home like, Oh, that's cool. Huge fan of Tehran. I'm going to play video games instead. I don't need to see them. Uh, and they're, they're, that's where the line uh, in our society needs to be, as I mentioned, not politically and socially, but the people that are, are, are get shit doneers and do shit uh, and don't do nothing. Don't do nothing, bitch. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Ronda Rousey. Yeah, do shit. Yeah, I mean, that's just what it is. You just wake up and you get, you get shit done whether you want to or not to. I mean, you're, you're going to have to, uh, you know, uh, there's a bunch of, uh, not to get political again, there's taxes and shit going on. We're all going to have to write a check to the fucking government. It is what it is. Do we want to give out our money? No, no one wants to give away their hard work money. But that's just part of life. You do it. Not everyone wants to, uh, whatever, call your mom every day, make check in, whatever it is. But we gotta, just got some shit you got to do. And for me, uh, waking up and lifting is one of those things. Yo, I cannot add on to that. <laughs> <laughs>